Good morning, YouTube, my beautiful, wonderful, precious brothers and sisters, my viewers and subscribers, and my family and friends over on Facebook. It's Friday. The weekend is upon us. There's a lot going on on the world stage as Bible prophecy is unfolding before our very eyes. But let's take our focus for a moment and put it on the Word and on our brothers and our sisters who are down, who need their spirits lifted, who needed to be lifted up on eagle's wings. We need to give hope at this time to the hopeless. We need to spread the good news of salvation. And gather around. I've got my coffee today. Tim Hortons, I've been up early and I've been out. Let me know what you are sharing with Pastor Dave. And I've got something wonderful to share with you. Are you ready? Hold on. Type in the comment section. What are you having this morning? Now, I want to thank a viewer and subscriber of mine, Rachel. We're gonna, we're gonna, I'm going to play a video clip in a moment. But you know how I love coffee. You know how PD loves coffee. Well, she sent me some Kaula coffee. And it says, this coffee is for you. It's not for you. It's mine. You can't have it. It says, this coffee is for you, Pastor Dave. Thank you, Rachel. Now, let's take our focus for a moment off of what's going on in the Middle East and with this uh, Malaysian airliner, the tragedy, the loss of life. And let's think about the unsaved and how Father God has his hand on you and he wants you to go out. Yeshua, Jesus wants you to go out and be a disciple, to preach to the lost and to the unsaved. I did a couple of videos yesterday on the plight of the homeless, how here in the United States of America, it has become illegal to be homeless. And how in Grand Rapids, Michigan, now if you're on a corner and you're in need and you have a cardboard sign, hungry and homeless, but they will arrest you. Now I'm going to do a video following up after our good morning video of how they have done this now. They are applying the same tactics in Flint, Michigan. I will not be stopped and I will not be moved. Father God has his hand upon this ministry. I don't reply, but I read most of the comments. I don't have time to reply to everyone. One person wanted to share the videos, but they don't give to a ministry. You've got to be led. You've got to be led and moved by the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKadosh to give to a ministry. It's like when you go into the supermarket and you want to get some fruit. You want to make sure you squeeze that fruit. Make sure it's not bad. It's not spoiled. But it is good fruit. You need to pray first before you give to this ministry or to any ministry. Another comment was that I just, and, and the mindset, we have been programmed to think this way. But uh, if I give to this ministry, if I give to that person on the corner carrying that cardboard sign, if I give them money, they're just going to want to buy alcohol or buy drugs. That's the mindset that we have. If you remember Homeless Dave, the video from uh, a week or so ago, if I would have had that mindset and just walked away and not ministered to him and kept ministering to him and giving him Bibles and giving him food, he would have never accepted that precious gift of salvation. For those of you that, well, I'm just going to turn a blind eye. They just want alcohol. They just want drugs. Let me remind you. Thank you, Father, for forgiving us. 
Now, real quick, before we go to ministry acknowledgments and to acknowledge those that have given so much to this ministry, to the homeless, I think this is going to warm your heart. Let me share with you how Father God has blessed this ministry and some of the things we do with this ministry. All right, everyone, I just want to show you how this ministry, our ministry, has been blessed, how Yahweh has just put his hand upon our ministry to the homeless, to the poor, and to the impoverished. This is just a small sample of the offerings that have come in and the donations to our ministry. And I want to show you how we are working our ministry. You can see the backpacks. We're getting, we've got backpacks we're putting together, but I want to show you just some. This is just a small sample I just set up at one table to show you of what we do with our ministry. Now here you can see this is a personal hygiene products that was, uh, we've got more, we've got a lot more. What was donated to our ministry, and the person wishes to remain anonymous, you've got nail clippers, and uh, razor, comb, mouthwash, shampoo, soap, everything they need for personal hygiene, and a flu safety wipes kit. More and more, I mean, I've got two more boxes of this. And nutritious snacks, apple chips, and craisins, and ocean spray. And here you can see more apple chips, original trail mix. We got, I want to show you about this coffee in a moment. We've got boxes and boxes, more boxes that I haven't even got on display for you of ravioli and stuffed ravioli and uh, overstuffed ravioli. That's going to make a good meal for someone. Children's sandals, all different kinds, all different sizes. Just a small, I didn't set them all out just so you could see. Clothing, children's clothing. I want to thank Rachel Kim and her daughter, Christy, for the children's uh, clothing and the children's needs. More are on the way. More clothing for the children. So many people just don't relate to a child, a young child, being homeless. So we're going to get our backpacks together. I want to show you this. Now this was sent from Rachel. And it's Kaula coffee. You know how I love coffee. And it says, this coffee is for you, Pastor Dave. So Pastor Dave is going to keep the coffee. And I just wanted to show you how this ministry is blessed. Blessings upon blessings. And uh, we'll be right back. All right, real quick in closing, I want to thank those that have given to this ministry. For Wednesday and for uh, Thursday, there have been no offerings that have come in to the ministry. But this morning when I got up, we had a precious, precious gift to the ministry from someone that gives on a regular basis. Monica from Canada a precious gift of $130 to our homeless ministry. If you feel led and moved by the Holy Spirit to give to this ministry, we need your help. The link will be below. Be below. I hope you have been blessed by this.